Ever wonder why your workplace environment affects your productivity? The answer to this question can be traced back to one influential figure in management theory, Elton Mayo. Born in Australia in the late 19th century, Mayo was a psychologist, industrial researcher, and organizational theorist who made significant strides in understanding the dynamics of the workplace. His landmark work, the Hawthorne Studies, conducted during the 1920s and 1930s, shook the foundations of traditional management thinking. These studies explored the influence of social factors and employee satisfaction on individual and group performance. Mayo's findings led to his human relations theory, which emphasized the importance of people in the workplace over machines or systems. His work has had a profound influence on management practices, emphasizing the importance of employee motivation and teamwork. Elton Mayo, a pioneer in human relations, forever changed how we view work and productivity. So what exactly is Mayo's human relations theory? Let's peel back the layers of this concept. At its heart, Mayo's theory places great importance on the social factors within the workplace. He believed that these social elements had a significant impact on worker productivity, a perspective that was quite revolutionary in his time. Mayo's theory was built upon the findings of the Hawthorne Studies, a series of experiments conducted in the late 1920s and early 30s. These studies were divided into four phases, each revealing fascinating insights into worker productivity. The first phase of the Hawthorne studies looked at the effects of physical working conditions on productivity. Surprisingly, Mayo and his team found that changes in lighting, temperature, and even work hours had little to no impact on output. The second phase, known as the Relay Assembly Test Room Experiments, revealed something unexpected. Productivity increased when a group of workers was isolated from the main workforce and given special attention. This suggested that social factors, not just physical conditions, significantly impacted worker productivity. In the third phase, the mass interviewing program, over 20,000 workers were interviewed. The aim was to understand their attitudes and sentiments. Mayo concluded that workers were not merely cogs in a machine, but had social needs that were as important as their economic needs. The final phase, the Bank Wiring Observation Room study, revealed that workers did not necessarily act as individuals, but often as members of a group. Group norms and standards influence behavior and productivity more than individual motivations or management policies. So, Mayo concluded that workers were not just influenced by physical conditions, but also by their social environment. He believed that by addressing social needs and fostering a positive social environment, organizations could boost productivity. In essence, Mayo's theory suggests that happier workers are more productive workers. It's a simple idea but one that has profound implications for how we understand work, productivity, and human motivation. You might be thinking, how can I apply this to my own work or study environment? So, let's put Mayo's theory into context. The practical implications are huge. For starters, good communication is key. Whether you're in a classroom or a boardroom, the ability to express ideas and concerns freely can significantly boost productivity. But that's not all. Mayo's theory also emphasizes the importance of recognition. When individuals feel appreciated, they are more likely to put in their best effort. It's a simple concept, but one that can have a profound impact on performance. Additionally, a sense of belonging is crucial. When people feel part of a team, they are more committed and motivated. This sense of camaraderie can be fostered in both academic and professional settings, leading to more productive and harmonious environments. Remember, According to Mayo, it's not just about the physical conditions, but the social ones, too. So, why does Mayo's theory matter in today's world? Well, Elton Mayo's human relations theory is as relevant now as it was when he first introduced it. It underscores the importance of human interaction in the workplace and in study environments. This theory reminds us that people aren't just cogs in a machine. We're social beings who thrive on interaction, recognition, and a sense of belonging. It's about understanding the dynamics of a group and how the social aspect plays a pivotal role in productivity. By embracing Mayo's theory, we can create a workspace or a study group where everyone feels valued and part of a collective effort. It's about fostering an atmosphere that promotes job satisfaction, which in turn enhances productivity. So the next time you find yourself in a group setting, be it at work or in school, don't forget the essence of Mayo's theory.
As Mayo's theory shows, it's about much more than just hard work. It's about creating an environment where people feel valued and part of a team. So, next time you're in a group setting, remember the power of the social aspect. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content just like this.